What is up? What's going on, everybody? Yo, thank you so much for joining up in this stream today. And if you're catching this later, thank you so much for watching. Jeez, I hope this time that my, that my music is synced up, right? Because what was happening before... Oh, I see a little red here. I'm going to go ahead and lower that a little bit here. I can see that is blasting out your ears. So I'm going to go ahead and lower that. So when I'm getting the red there. There we go. It's a little bit better. Um, so last time the music was so distinct and I was just like, after watching it afterwards, I was like, what the heck happened? And I realized I had just two monitors on. I was testing out the music, so I left the monitor on and forgot to turn it off. I can still hear the music. I, what you hear is what I hear. So, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't hear the extra because that wasn't being on. I was on it anyway. Don't think about it. Don't think too deeply. All right, all right, all right. So what are we talking about today? We're talking about Facebook boosting and boosting on Facebook and how this all is supposed to work. Um, if you just boost your Facebook post, if you just boost your Facebook post and not touch anything else, that ad is legit going worldwide. Legit going worldwide. And you pay every time for each one click. Every click you pay for, every click you pay for that's a bleed that you don't want because this guy in Sri Lanka is not visiting your cupcake shop in Southington. So I'm saying this is what we're here talking about today. Look at the settings. Let's get this local area down. Let me show you how to do this stuff. Okay. The, 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 the first thing you want to make sure you do before you even start thinking about boosting your Facebook post is to pick the right post. So you want to make sure that you have a post that's that's you know it's got a lot of likes and it seems like it's doing pretty well organically, and that's the the, the one that has the best organic reach, the one that has the most likes, the one that has the most interactions is the one you want to put money behind because you're you kind of did a slight test with your you know kind of like um what do you call those um crap what do you call those I forgot I forgot I forgot somebody tell me in the chat what what is it. Uh, a focus group is basically you did a focus group in your page with your followers and anybody who liked and you know interacted commented said that's beautiful or whatever those that's that was your test whoever has the whatever post has the most of that that's your boost boost that one okay so now we got this boost up all right we're gonna hit boost okay first off let's let's start off let's read the copy and make sure that the copy and when i say copy copy means that the words that are written in the post these are copies can be considered titles or or something like that we want to make sure that it, it's clear okay it, it's um some copy like it's weird because long copies were working long copies means really long descriptions were working well for a while then they weren't and then short copies like a paragraph two sentences is working really well and then it kind of like now we're in the middle where it's about a paragraph is working these days it's people's psychology and you got to remember that if people are getting annoyed they're going to get annoyed there's nothing you could do about that situation so you want to just just write your your copy properly and make sure and the other uh, uh and this is a hack this is a total hack free of charge for me chat gtp take your copy bring it to chat gtp and say can you write this in whatever you feel is the best way to write it friendly uh, aggressive um 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 whatever and then tell it to write it rewrite that copy in that way and chat gtp is the ai is sick it will get that done and that's free 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 to use use it it's there it's not going to be free for long microsoft just dumped billions of dollars into it so get ready to pay for it but right now it's free use it okay so now we got your copy down. We got your copy figured out. We got all that stuff that, that we're, you know, kind of thinking about and stuff like that. So what the ne what's the next step? The next step is that you want to be sure that you have a visually appealing picture, okay? If it's degraded, a uh, low resolution or something like that, can't use it. Simple as that. You just can't use it, okay? You got to get something that's really nice, crisp. It's going to stop somebody from scrolling. Okay, 90%, and I, everybody said that's wrong, but 90% of people are scrolling on their phones and you want them to stop for a second to look at what picture is in front of them. They, and then once they do that, they raise their head up, they see the title, and then if they're and if everything's going good so far and they're starting to be interested in what you're selling, then they're gonna go into the, the copy part and start reading that. At any point, this journey, they stay that you have a mess up, a misspelling, or it doesn't sound right, or a bad picture. The customer journey stops. They go and they move on. They're off. They're off. They're away. 
So the fact that you, you, you got their interest in the image, then the title, then the copy, they're heading to your store. They're heading to your website. They're heading to a direction. Make sure that the information is there. Address, telephone number, website, whatever. That's called call to action. That's the thing that is, is needed to get the customer to the next step of that journey because they stopped scrolling, they looked at your picture, stopped scrolling, they looked and read your description, they looked at your title, they're into it. Okay, that's, that's you got a warm lead here, got a warm lead here, so make sure that they have the next step. And when they get to your website, be sure everything's clear and concise there. We'll talk about that in another video. The other thing that I wanna mention is that you use of hashtags, don't go crazy with hashtags. Five, four, that's it. That's all you really need. If you put too many hashtags in, what's gonna happen to your boosted posts is you're gonna get people that are not interested in your products. And every time they interact with your post, that's more money coming out of your budget. That's wasted. So you wanna try to stick four, five hashtags. I'll, don't go crazy. You know, and, and it really, it's, it's, it's really industry specific. So, you know, you might go to six, you might go to seven because it just has a couple more things that I need, you need to there. But hashtags will help you grab the specific audience that you're looking for that's going to buy the product that you're offering, okay? The next, uh, okay, so now we got this. You wanna make sure your local area is set, okay? Set it to your local area. Don't go out of state. I wouldn't do that I because it, this is the first, I assume this is the first post or one of the first post that you're boosted you might have boosted some in the past and it didn't work out and now you're going to give it a shot again here's what the biggest deal is about is that gathering data gathering data is the, really a big deal because once the data starts getting gathered facebook starts telling your you your post and the information and the algorithm starts saying hey listen these this this person's about this kind of stuff this industry these people are about that and then when you go again with your new ads you'll have a nice data set and then you want to go with what's called a lookalike audience but that's again that gets that's that's next level stuff we'll talk about that in another video but just gather the data so for future use gather what's going to see what works see what didn't work people are super super fickle it, everything has to be perfect or they're not going to react and they're not going to come you know get on that journey with you they're just not it's just as simple as that the other thing I want to talk about is how, like, there's different choices, okay? There's lead generation, there's uh, website visits, and uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You want to pick the option that's best for your industry. If you're a lawyer, lead generation is going to work for you, okay? If you're selling t-shirts on your website, the website one is going to be the option for you. Make sure you research them before you choose and go forward and put a bunch of money on an ad. Look up every one of those. Make sure you have a full understanding of what they're offering. Typically, it's lead generation and website sales or something like that, okay? Um, if you're trying to boost a page, your page, for example, you can use a boosted post to do that. And there's another option that says boost page likes, for example. But likes, follows are vanity metrics. If they don't convert into sales, then it's none of this is working right. So you have to go back to the drawing board, okay? That's that's sometimes that happens and it's it happens probably 50% of the time. It's always something, ad copy, visuals, title, uh something. It's always something minor, okay? People are they just just going to walk away. They're just going to walk away immediately. Like as soon as anything's wrong, anything's out of place, anything they feel uncomfortable with, they're walking away from and they're all done with okay after you all right so now we're at that point we got your 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 copy is perfect your pictures are perfect your title works everything you feel really comfortable we hit that boost button right okay what happens is when the, the the okay so now it boosts okay now you, you got it boosted and what happens is next is that facebook has got to learn about who your audience is. This is that data that it pulls in, okay? It takes 50 optimizations. Now, what does 50 optimizations mean? 50 optimizations mean if you're set up to do website clicks, that if somebody clicks the website, that's an optimization. Now, Facebook has data on that person, and now that's they're getting closer to showing your ad to the perfect customer, okay? So that's what optimization, so you have to wait. It's, it takes a while. It takes days sometimes. 
don't be discouraged if all of a sudden your ad's not performing day one. It's not gonna. It's probably not gonna perform day two either. But when it gets to day three and day four, you start to notice the clicks increase. You start to notice conversions increase because Facebook is starting to dial in your ideal customer. And that's the customer you want to be in front of you because you can make that sale. You can make that conversion and you can get them. You need them just to get to you or your website. That's what you need to get them to do or get an email so you can start that conversation, okay? Look at every day. Take a few minutes, get into your, and there's an uh, there's an app, uh, Meta for Ads, it's called. Uh, you can download the app, connect your Facebook account, connect your business account, and the next thing you know, you have everything at the on the tips of your fingers right there on an app. It's a good analytics tool. It's always best to manage your ad on a PC. However, you're busy. You're a business owner. You don't got time for that shit. You don't, and I get you. I understand that. That's why people like me exist, because we can save you that time. Okay, we'll do a lot faster. We'll be able to get those optimizations a lot faster. However, not everybody has money to spend on a marketer, so here's how you do it. Grab that information. Take that information. Look at the metrics. See who's there. Is it male? Is it female? What location? If you're starting to notice locations out of California, uh uh-oh, something's wrong with the settings. You might want to go look and adjust and edit those settings. Facebook will allow you to edit the settings. Uh, When you do edit the settings, be advised your your ad's going to be off. When you first started to boost your ad, they do go through an approval process. They want to make sure you're not selling crazy stuff. You know, that's, that's illegal. So the same thing will happen when you make an edit. So be mindful of that. Will it start everything over sometimes sometimes it starts a whole learning process over so that's the other thing that's why it's so critical to just look at it have other people look at it look at your and ask people say hey how does this look to you does this feel like it's a good ad is it copy does it read okay do you understand it do you understand where the customer journey is that's important that's the most important part about all of this and when you start to put money behind things like this it's really important because this, like I said before, this guy in Sri Lanka is clicking on your ad three times a day, costing you $40 a day. You know what I'm saying? That's $4 that could have been better spent on your local area, reaching the customers that are perfect for your business. Now, I've been talking for 12 minutes, and so I, I see a couple of viewers here, and I appreciate you guys jumping in. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Feel free to comment and, and, and ask any questions you feel like you want to ask, and I'm going to answer them the best I can. So if I'm not explaining this well enough, ask questions that's the whole point of this stream is to ask your questions get your answers and see and if i can help you i'm going to help you this i don't know everything i'm not a, 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 a nobody knows everything and what's crazy about facebook okay is the algorithm changes so frequently so frequently like you They'll do one thing one day and do something totally different the next day. And then your whole strategy is out the window. That happens. It happens sometimes. Okay. So just pay attention to your metrics. Pay attention to your analytics. Are you seeing more people come to your website? Because I assume that you have analytics on your website. Are people liking your posts more? Are people commenting? Okay. Speaking of commenting, you legit cannot not comment. You have to comment every guy, every time. Every time anybody comments, no matter what it is, you need to reply. Here's, hey, thank you so much for your comment. Um, I, I'm glad you're interested in in X, Y, or Z. Here's my here's my link. Here's my telephone number. Here's my website. Here's my contact information. Reach out. Let's talk. Let's start the conversation. Okay, don't say that, just, but you know what I mean. You want to start the conversation. So at that point now, if you could get that person starting a conversation, trust starts going up. Okay. Because the initial uh, interaction is always of non-trust. Is this person right for me? I want to talk to him. I want to hear more. So that's that's there's there's where the trust comes in. It's it's super important. Trust is the end all be all of 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 all any any kind of ad because if or business in general because if they don't trust you, they're not buying from you. End of story. So don't be afraid to put yourself in those ads. Don't be afraid to record a video. The other thing I think are great for boosted Facebook posts are uh, posts that are helper posts. So for example, I like to create a post that teaches how to deal with algorithms and how to take the metrics, for example. And I put that on my Facebooks and it's free information. I want people to understand and do better with their own ads. 
And then when they're ready, they can come to me for their more complicated ads. I'm totally good with that. I want you to boost your posts. I want you to see and see the results of how marketing properly done can increase your business, increase the conversation, and then help the customer's journey to your business. Those are the things that we're all thinking about, right? That's what we want. So it's super crazy and it's super hard sometimes to deal with that situation because you're looking at it and you're like saying to yourself, it's not quite right or not. Give it a shot. Throw $10 at it. Put $10 a budget. See what happens. If you get a bunch of likes in that $10, it's working. Throw more. Throw more. Okay. The other thing is like, what post should I boost? You know what I'm saying? And I think I talked about this earlier. I'm going to say it again. It's really the best post you have. The one with the most likes, the one with the most conversation, the most comments, because what happens is, is as you, your followers on your page have commented. Okay. So they basically kind of social proofed your ad as it right then and there. So immediately that's happened. So now you're going to put it out in the wild. And then some people that are not following your page who have never seen this, this post before is looking at it. And then they see 13 comments. Oh, I'm interested. Whatever is everybody talking about? They click on the comment section. They start looking through your comments. Oh, wow. They, well, it's a lot of good praise here. So again, trust. Boom. Right through the, right through the top. Trust. They trust that you know how to, you do, you know what you're doing, you're doing your job and you're doing it properly. And that's, that, and that's, and that's really it. That's Facebook. That's boosting Facebook's in a nutshell. Okay. There's other settings. You're going to see a lot of them. Default settings are typically okay. Okay. There is another option called ad creative and that kind of thing. And then there's options for a B test and all that stuff. That's the next level marketing. That's next level marketing. You don't have to worry about it. It's intimidating. You see it. It's crazy. You don't have to worry about it. You really don't have to worry about it. Just leave a lot of it stock. Facebook knows what they're doing. They want you to succeed because if you succeed with this boosted post, you're probably going to buy another boosted post because you trust Facebook to run the right ads for you. Again, trust. Biggest deal in the world. Okay. I don't think I have anything more to say about that, but I think that we are at the point where we kind of understand that I hope and again if you have any questions comment on this video if you're seeing it later and I will come back and answer those questions too sweet um, we're only at 17 minutes but that's okay I like short videos because it's uh, people can get the information quicker and easier so we're gonna go ahead and and, and call it for this one on uh, on this I appreciate you guys I see two of you came in thank you thank you so much for checking out the stream and joining in and dropping in and liking the page. If you have done that already, hit that like. Thank you again, guys. We will see you next Tuesday. And I will, I'm not sure what the topic's gonna be as of yet. I'm probably thinking, probably copy. And I, I think, I think you know what I might do is I, I think I'm gonna talk about Chat GTP and how to utilize Chat GTP for your website copies. How to utilize Chat GTP to answer your emails for you, for example. If you're not a good writer and you know, you're writing stuff and it sounds like crap and it's discombobulated and jumbled, just, yo, just plug it into Chat GTP. Chat GTP's gonna fix it for you, okay? Keep an eye on that it's going to be a big deal okay i'm currently developing i'm sorry not i am not converting definitely i am working with a developer right now who is creating a chat bot utilizing chat gtp this is an amazing product that is readily is almost ready to be let out into the wild add this to your website your e-commerce website and this chat bot is going to be able to conversate with your potential customers with a human-like reaction action and then what it'll do is find products that that customer wants, likes, or is interested in, and then autumn and when as the conversation progresses, it'll add it for the customer to a cart and then send them a checkout link. Super easy, super fast, incredibly seamless. If this comes out like I think it's going to come out, it's going to be amazing, changing, world changing when it comes to commerce. World changing now when it comes to commerce. I keep bumping into my mic. Um. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, the website southingtondigital.com. Uh, when you get when you're ready for that next level marketing, give me a call. I, I got you. I got you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next Tuesday.